this and you choke on it, that's your problem, not mine. Very day classe. Hello, everybody, true. Welcome back. I'm Daria and the Overray Hills. Guys, let's talk about this mess between Kyle and Mauricio latest cheating allegations but before we get into it do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel guys do it right now it really helps me a lot we are on the race to 15k so if you are new here and you want to join the very, very troop the only thing that you need to do is subscribe 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 and hit that notification bell okay guys so let's just dive into this because it's a whole mess yesterday i did a video uh several bloggers including myself received this email from an anonymous source basically uh, putting out there these uh, cheating allegations between uh, this person and Mauricio uh, back of August of last year in Cabo and blah 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 you know so I told you guys yesterday that we receive a lot of information we don't know exactly what is true what is false um, unless they send us some kind of receipt which Let's be honest, it almost never happens, you know, it's always a rumor, it's always the street stalking. You know, I, I tell you guys this over and over and over, right? And this time was no different. So I decided to share it with you guys yesterday because, let's be honest too, you know, these rumors has been out there for a while, so I was like, okay, maybe, let's just see, let's just see what you guys think. But I told you, do not believe everything that it's in here because we don't know if it's true or not right well i decided to really try to like investigate a little bit more because it's like these rumors are always happening at least once a year you know <laughs> or like once like it's very common so it was like okay what is happening over here i talked to some of the vloggers that uh the email was sent off and we really discuss it and say like okay what is going on over here let's see what is happening what we think guys is that this email it's fake okay and let me tell you why we think that this email is fake first of all the time that they are ref that this e this person is referring is august of last year right uh she's saying that uh the girls were there that pk was there you know it was like very specific and then we if you go to any of their instagrams um kyle mauricio dorit uh pk you can see that effect it is true they were in cavo on august of last year because they were celebrating pk's birthday they all went together with a bunch of friends you know and they stay over there for i don't know exactly how many days but they stay over there blah 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 now where do we go from here i decided to try to reach out to people who could confirm on any way what happened during that trip you know and you know that reaching out to one of the really people involved is almost impossible you know but i talked to a lot of people and i According to a source, a very close source, there is no way that this rumor could be true. This person is basically saying that at some point, Mauricio was only with the guys by himself and then they did this like in the bathroom or something like that, you know? According to my other source, they're saying that it is not true because they were together the whole time that they were in there they were never like girls apart boys apart no that they were together all day every single day so basically there is no way that mauricio could have just like saying like oh let's wait a minute i'm gonna have a quick clean in the bathroom and then i'll be back you know it doesn't like it doesn't make sense the last part which i didn't realize yesterday until very very late at night was that yesterday was actually Kyle's and Mauricio anniversary and it was the, their 25th anniversary so it's also a little bit too convenient that just on like this happened on August of last year allegedly you know why wait September October November December January five months to put this information out there right on Kyle's and Mauricio wedding anniversary. You know, it's a little bit too calculated uh, and it doesn't make sense. 
you know, why don't you say this before? This, I mean, you know, and again, why you didn't send any receipts with you? I reach out this person because this person is saying like, oh, he, he gave me his phone number, his uh, personal phone number. And I was like, okay, look, if you, okay, why don't you send me some receipts? Send me Mauricio's phone number and I will call him. And if it, if it is him, then I will say like, oh, bitch, you know, yeah. It is Mauricio. But this person, of course, has not replied to me or any other of the other bloggers that received this email. So at this point, the only thing that I do have to say and is this. You know, guys, that I have this love-hate relationship with Kyle, right? Like, Kyle has been one of my favorite housewives for many years, but after everything that happened with Lisa Vanderpump, it really threw me off. So it's, it's, I, I have like that confusion in my head still of like, where do I stand with Kyle, right? But uh, with that being said, I really, I don't, I'm not gonna stand here and basically support these hoes who are, the only thing that they're trying is uh, break up a marriage and break up a family you know again these allegations yeah this is not the first time that we hear this but there have never been really proof about any of this and it's very easy for us to just go around throwing our words out there uh hating on kyle saying but at the end of the day we have to realize that these people are actually human beings that we saw through our TV, but these people are actually human beings. And imagine someone telling you on your wedding anniversary that your husband did this with someone else. How do you feel about that? So I think that was a little bit messed up about this person sending this email just on time for the wedding anniversary. It was literally just meant to be hurtful against Kyle and Mauricio and we didn't realize that until very late at night so there you have it guys I don't think this is true at all I think these are all a bunch of fake news I will let you know as soon as I know more I keep it updated I'm gonna keep trying to reach out to the people implicated you know either Kyle or Dorit or PK or Mauricio and if I do, of course, I will let you know, guys. <sighs> let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. And I'll see you around. See ya.